Hi, I'm Philip Hinkle, and today I have a short video review of the Hieroglyph Pro version 4 Tidler that's just been released. It's not a new Tidler, but an update to the previous version. In version 4, they've added a new interface and lots of new powerful features that can make your titling and some of your graphic abilities in your projects even better than before. Hieroglyph is available for most PC-based editing applications, as you can see here. For today's review, I'm going to use my editing system, which is Edius. Because the Heroglyph Tidler plugs into Edius and works right off the timeline really nicely. So let's just jump in and see how quick and easy we can get up to speed on this new version 4 of the Heroglyph Tidler. I will tell you that I have not used any of the previous Heroglyph products for my tiling needs, so this shows how easy it was for me to just jump right in and get started with the Heroglyph Tidler. It's very simple and very powerful. First thing I want to do. I'm going to set me an in and an out point. I'm going to make a title that's about eight seconds long. So I've got me an in and an out, and I'm going to come down to my timeline, new clip, Heroglyph Tidler. That was a right click to bring up that menu. I'm going to create a route, which means I can import a map file, say from Google Maps, and then I can actually draw a route so you can see where I've been on a map. It's kind of a neat thing you see in documentaries and on TV a lot, so let's see how we can do it real easy with Heroglyph version 4. I'm going to click on Route. These are my new template quick start wizards. And it says Drop Image here or Open Background Image. I'm going to select Open Background Image, navigate to my files, and I'm gonna click on my maps image and as you can see we have a map that I did a screen grab off of Google Maps from. I'm gonna blow it up a little bit so you can see it. It's a little grayed out because it's a background image and I want to be able to see better what I'm doing. This green dot is our starting point. We don't want it there. Now if we click and try and drag our starting point we're actually gonna draw a route so we don't want to do that. We just want to click where our starting point is gonna be. So I'm gonna click there and now I'm in a place called Racetrack Park which is a couple blocks from my house and I'm actually going to take a little bicycle ride and I'm going to map out my ride for you. So I'm going to click on my starting point and I'm just going to drag it through the streets. I'm going to come down here to County Highway A and I'm going to come down to this street here. I'm going to make a turn. I'm going to come down to here. I'm going to turn on Leslie Road. Come back up Highway N. Come back to Academy Street and that drops me right back up and I'm done at Racetrack Park. So you can see now I've got a route and over here in our little preview, it will slowly render it out in the background and you'll see our route being drawn. See how that's going? It's following the path that I drew. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to go and I'm going to select Next. The next screen I get is where we can tweak it a little bit. We're in the Path option now, so if I click here on my Style, I can pick what I want my path to look like. I'm going to pick this one. I want some nice, fun, bright colors. Next thing I want to animate or define in my route is my object, meaning right now all it's going to do is just draw my line on here as it passes through. But I can select an object and kind of make it look a little fancier. I'm going to come down to On Road, and since I'm on a bicycle ride, I found a shot of me. I posed for that. Nope, actually I didn't. It just kind of looks like me riding my bike. And so I'm going to use that as my object for my bike path. I'm going to take this travel object animation. I'm going to select that and if we come down here and highlight these different options, this is the one I like here. The nose of my plane or the front of my object is going to always follow the path. I think that's the one I like. And that's really all I need to set up on this particular section. I'm going to select insert and we now have our path. As you can see, if I drag my cursor my path animates and draws onto my screen. Now, if you'll notice down here, it actually stretched out that path to 40 something seconds. Don't worry about that. When we get back to the timeline, we can make it exactly how we want it. You'll see it's a pretty cool little trick. So what I've got now is I got me a nice path. You can see my bike is going down, following the path, going around the circle, and coming back. Up here on my preview screen, you can actually see what it's looking like in my application as I scrub through here. See I've got a clip farther down on my timeline as you can see there at the very beginning it was showing my path. Alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit the F12 key which will 
take me back to Edius, it'll ask me, do you want to save this title? I'm going to say, sure, I'm going to call it Bike Path Route. And save it. As you can see, my title is actually right here within my in and out point. If I take my cursor and I drag it through there, you'll see that in spite of how long it was in the titler, it is my eight seconds long. Now that I've got my path drawn out, if I needed it a little bit longer, I could drag the edge and I could make it say it's 12 seconds long now. If I drag that, I've now got a path that is 12 seconds long. It's that simple to adjust the length of how long your path is. I'm going to set it back to my 8 seconds where I started before. I've got my in and in out defined right here. This time, I was noticing when I was looking at this, I've got some room down here, and it would be a real handy place to put a little title of what this is. So let's go and play with some more of the abilities in the Hero Glyph version 4 Pro Titler. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go New Clip, Hero Glyph Titler. And here is my interface. This time, I'm going to select Script. We're going to actually use some handwriting for a title. I'm going to select the handwriting in out. And if I remember from some of my playing, number five is a look that I like a bunch. You see, it basically it's like handwriting right onto the screen, and then it unwrites it off. We'll adjust the speed on that and make it a little bit more to our liking, but I like the way that looks. I'm going to select Create. Get this simple little element interface up here, and all I do is go up here and type in what I need my user to know. This is my bike ride. Pretty simple. It's my bike ride. I'm going to come down here and change my style. Pick one of these that I like. I think I like that one a little bit. And if I come to here, I can select a color. Let's select a dark red because it will kind of match the path that we've drawn out. It's pretty much all we need to worry about on that. I'm going to select insert. And as you can see, we've got a my bike path. And down here on the bottom where it's gold is the animation of how long it takes to come in. It takes about two seconds to come in and then it holds for the remainder. This is all the hero glyph set up for links. Let's go change some of that. What's gold is what's highlighted. So I want my total length. I'm going to come up to my animation. My total effect, I want it to be eight seconds to match what I had before. So I'm going to put, well, not 800 seconds, I only want 8 seconds. That would be pretty funny. Now you can see the heart of it takes about 4 or 5 seconds in the middle, and I've got about a 2 second intro and a 2 second leaving or outro. I don't want that big long time going out, so I'm going to actually take this and, actually I don't want it at all, so I'm going to take my fade out effect, and I'm going to change that to faster fade out change it in half seconds down to zero so now it'll take two seconds to come in to write itself and then it will last for the duration of my eight seconds and then if I want to on my timeline I can use my Edius fades or my editor fades from whatever application I've got and make it fade in and out more like I want now if you remember right we needed this down on the bottom and it's probably a little big so I'm gonna click in here as you can see now we can edit our title I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to take that to about half the size down to a 120. And I'm going to take and drag that down toward the bottom center of my screen. And almost centered. That looks pretty good right there. Now I've got, again, my title. And it holds onto the screen. So if I hit the F12 again, it will ask me, do you want to save this? Sure, I'm going to call it My Bike Ride Animated. Click Save. And now we have this really neat little title, My Bike Ride Animated. Because this is a third-party plugin, to get real-time playback in Edius, you will have to render this particular section of your footage. So I'm going to actually take and render and add the timeline. In a few seconds it will be ready to go. Now we've got our clip rendered and we can actually see what it looks like. 
that was that simple and easy to create a really neat little effect using two separate functions in the new Hero Glyph version 4 Pro Titler. The last of the features I want to show you from the new version 4 of the Hero Glyph Pro Titler is the video wall. I'm going to bring my cursor down. I'm going to set an endpoint down here and an out point. I got a little motion background, stock footage of some clouds here. And we're going to build a video wall on top of that. To do it, I'm going to come down, right click, new clip, Hero Glyph Titler. And there is my interface. This time I'm going to select video wall. And I'm just going to take the basic classic 2x2, two two, nothing fancy. And you can see over here we've got a sample of what it may look like. I'm going to click my next button. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to highlight each of these particular sections of our video wall and we need to add a video clip. We can add a still image or video footage. I do have to tell you that the only video footage compatible right now with the video wall are AVI files and Windows Media WMV files. So I've got a few of those laying around here in my folder where we're working on this project. So I'm going to go and find my first video. Okay, I like that one there. It's a picture of my friend doing some stunt flying with his remote control plane taken from my remote control helicopter with a GoPro on it. My next section of the wall I'm gonna go select my next image and I believe I'm gonna take the Jenny flight nope the Jenny maiden there we go it's full screen this is a great big 15 foot remote control airplane that I was fortunate enough to be able to film the maiden flight on it was pretty cool my next image I'm going to add see what we got here quad this is a video footage of me flying a really big quadricopter multicopter around for a friend who I was trying to help him get some kinks worked out of his system and for my last file I'm going to collect, select add video image or footage and we don't see it here because it's not recognizing the WMVs but if I click all you'll see that I now have a WMV file in here called Sturgeon Bay this is a clip I took up in northern Wisconsin near Green Bay with my big airplane and a GoPro attached on the front of it. And just we did it was part of a project we did. And so what I'm doing is I'm making a little demo for my aerial business. So we've got four different kinds of clips here in our video wall. That's pretty neat. Next thing I want to do is I want to come over here and select the style. This is the design that I want to use. If I click here, then I've got different ways that my wall will be laid out. And we will see samples over here. It looks like that one washes it out a little bit. Don't really like that. Let's see what this one looks like. Eh, kind of like that. Animation. What kind of animation do we want? We can actually have it fly in. There are these options here. As you can see, we can make them flying in and out and all kind of different stuff. And these are all different samples that you'll see that you could use for your video wall. I kind of like the static look of this right here. So I'm going to leave that one selected and I'm going to select insert. And now you can see I've got this neat little video wall showing these video samples. Now obviously this is going to need some rendering because there's a lot going on in there but you can see what it looks like. Now let's do a little bit more to this. I'm going to come over here in the open area. I'm going to right click new empty timeline track. Okay so now I've added a track above. I'm going to make sure my cursor is at the edge. Next thing I want to do is make sure my cursor is all the way to the left and select new timeline object. Now you can see I've got another object up here that I can work with. I'm actually going to stretch that to be the full length of my video wall. Make sure that is selected in gold. I'm going to come up here and select text. It's going to prompt us for our text. I'm going to put my my aerial demo. Now if I want to I can select my text. I can manipulate it however I want. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. Let's bump that up to about 120. 
If I want to, I can come over to my design. I can pick something a little different. You can see I got this nice cool look. Let's slide that over up about there. If we wanted to, we could animate that and do all kind of other things. We're just going to leave it simple like that for now because I'm just showing you some of the new features. Those are pretty straightforward. Hit F12, call it Aerial Demo, select Enter, and now as you can see, I got this really neat video wall with some of my aerial clips in it and the text on the top, My Aerial Demo. Now to be able to see it, I'm going to render and add the timeline. This will take a while because there's a lot going on there. So again, it's not a real-time filter because it is a third-party plugin. Now that it's done, we can see what our video wall looks like. Very simple, very quick, and very easy to do. If there's all kind of options in that video wall that you could select from, so you could just be as creative as you wanted to. A couple things to show you real quick that I didn't touch on. One little trick that I found that I really enjoyed is if I don't click on my timeline cursor, but I just click in my ruler here, I can expand and contract and zoom in and out of my timeline pretty easy and really quick. I kind of like that feature. It's pretty neat. And if we were come, to come back to our Insert tab and look at some of these templates, I just wanted to show you what a few of them look like. Let's look at the business. Some different kind of business intros would be backgrounds for some of the work you may be doing. Some lower thirds. Looks like there's 183 different ones of all kinds of different lower thirds. All you would need to do is select one of those, type your text in. They're pretty straightforward. Just wanted to show you a few of those options that are out there for you. The slideshow is very simple to use. You just click on the slideshow, you drop your pictures and your video in there, and it's very straightforward. If you've ever created a slideshow before, you'll be able to figure it out real fast. I just wanted to show you these few samples that I had today because they were different than what I've seen available before in other simple titlers. It just makes things so simple and easy and fast to do. The basic titling functions are all there. And if you know how to operate an editing system and you've created titles before, you'll have no problem grasping those and making them work. This version 4 of the Heroglyph Pro Titler is pretty sweet. Uh, it's fast, nimble, and easy to use. So if you're looking for a good titler, this might be an option for you to consider. And best of all, it's available for pretty much any PC-based editing system out there. Hope you've enjoyed the review and you have a great day and enjoy your titling.